As a child, there was a freedom. My whole existence, a composition of song and dance. Unfortunately, as I have matured into adulthood, this is a life which has long been unavailable. This understanding of my youth has only occurred to me in recent weeks, and I have spent the entire time endeavouring to recapture it. It seems to me that everyone is always trying to capture that undefinable magic of childhood, even when they are in unpleasant circumstances. I do not doubt, as with many circumstances in life, that there are exceptions, but in light of this recent revelation, I was sure that this magic was not only absent in my life, but was directly contributing to my disillusionment with reality. And even though the specifics of my reality are not important, it suffices to say I'm malcontent with life. And with every day that I grow older, I feel that my cynicism matures. Recently, I found myself grimacing when a social confrontation obliged me to shake hands with another human being. And it was this, amongst a host of other incidents, which has led me here. The bath. I can remember every bath time having a special impression on me as an infant. The depth and warmth of the water, the excitement of the endless bubbles, not mentioning the undivided attention of my mother, the god of my own soapy heaven.
For hours I lay silent, bathing in the nothingness of the tranquil water. I could feel the bubbles upon my chest and around my neck, kissing, tickling until they climaxed in sweet bursts of perfumed vapor. I could even taste traces of vanilla when denser bubbles exploded close to my mouth. I was drunk on the sensuality, blissfully inebriated. And it was here, at the summit of this experience, when my inner child started to howl from deep within as though from one who was tormented by incurable melancholy. And stirring in my heart was something I least expected, pain. pain. I was crushed by the weight of a profound revelation. Material enlightenment cannot replicate the spontaneous magic of a child's captivation. In this sobering moment, I could distinguish nothing except two devastating sentiments. Failure and mortality. I can hear my tears burning the bubbles. Scars from my childhood began to reopen, skinned knees from the playground. Blistered palms from the rope swings. Toothaches, the injustices of it, punishment. And the father who left home, I start to bleed. My wounds cry with me. I was forced to endure a psychological caesarean my memories being torn from the safe womb of my subconscious. I'm aware of nothing but darkness. There is no comprehension of time, but everything had happened very quickly and I'm exhausted physical, mental, and emotional lethargy. I continued floating in this detached state for a while, scarcely able to contemplate the absurdity of my situation. After being dangled in purgatory for a substantial period, my judgment began to dwindle. I lost hope of answers and tired of posing new questions. All that could be achieved now was my ending. I welcomed death, and with this, as though it were the physical manifestation of my release, a tiny white dot appears in the distance and begins moving in my direction. It grows larger as it advances closer and the dot expands to a bright circle, a peephole in a morgue curtain. And from nowhere, images dense in color and texture start to appear in front of me, fleeting memories. The visions fade, gold dust that escapes between my fingers. 
My tired eyelids fold upon themselves like withered petals. The grip of the black releases me. Thank you.